Hey everyone, um, I'm here today to uh, just kind of talk a little bit about um, some virtual assistant business, um, about the company Zirtual and the employment realities of being a virtual assistant. Um, to start with, um, you may or may not have heard um, about the company Zirtual. Um, they are a company that hires um, virtual assistants um, offering um, basically full-time employment um, to uh, kind of um, network you out to clients through them to be a virtual assistant. Um, recently, um, they kind of bit the dust um, as far as being a business. Um, unfortunately, they had to suddenly shut down and all of their employees were let go. Um, it was kind of a big deal because a lot of virtual assistants have either worked for that company or were working for that company. Um, I applied to work with Zirtual several times um, and uh, never made it past the initial application. Um, and I guess I'm kind of glad now that uh, it didn't work with them because I would have been fired. <laughs> um, and it's really, really sad. and. Um, my heart goes out to the families and um, previous employees of Zirtual, and I hope they're having a much easier time than I am finding work. Um, it was kind of a harsh reality. Um, basically, what happened with Zirtual is, I guess they just um, kind of bit off more than they could chew, really. Um, I think they kind of hired maybe too many people or um, put too much money in expensive things or um, too much networking. I'm not sure what happened, but essentially they um, could no longer afford to keep the business running and to pay their employees. So unfortunately, because of all the loss of money, the company had to shut down. Um, it was kind of a blow to the virtual assistant world and we're kind of all recovering from that. Um, uh, as of this time, we don't know for sure if Zirtual is ever going to reopen. Um, there's kind of some rumors that it might kind of try to uh, return and, and kind of start up again, um, but I don't know. I mean, I haven't heard for sure. Um, so that's kind of one of the things about being a virtual assistant that you have to keep in mind is that it's not a permanent full-time career for most people. Um, there are some people who have very successful uh, virtual assistant businesses from home that, you know, it's their full-time career and income and, you know, they don't have, um, you know, any problems with keeping clients and keeping work. Um, but for most virtual assistants, it's more kind of like a side job or like a hobby kind of job where you can make a little bit of money here and there um, with clients because most of the work virtual assistants do is contract or freelance. So you only work for a client as long as they need you. Um, and they usually pay you per task. Some will pay you per hour, but most is pay you per task. Like say, hey, I'll pay you 50 bucks to make me a website or you know, I'll pay you a hundred bucks to answer my emails for a day or two, like kind of things like that. Um, and then once the job is over, you know, you have to move on and find the next client um, to make more money. Um, and there are virtual assistant companies who permanently hire employees and constantly give them out work. And they mostly will pay you an hourly wage, kind of like a normal kind of job, but all from home. Um, there are a few of them out there. It's just hard to get into them because there's so many people flocking there and putting in applications and they have so many people wanting to work for them that it's kind of like there's not really much of a chance that everyone that applies is going to hear back because they get so many applicants that want to have that full-time income and full-time reliable job with a company instead of doing just client-by-client -client work. Um, but so most of us um, who are VAs and who choose this to be a career have to keep in mind that we need to have a backup plan. 
we need to have another way of making income. We have to have another kind of job option open to us or maybe an extra part-time job to kind of keep ourselves afloat because we cannot rely on being a VA alone to help us get by. Um, and also a lot of clients that you talk to or interview with or try to get started working with aren't always reliable or professional. Um, unfortunately, my experience has been every single potential client that I have had turned out to be very flaky and unprofessional and at the end let me go before I even had a chance to work or after I had already done some work and let me go and I never got paid or um, anything like that because sometimes you do kind of get stuck with the weirdos who are not really serious about hiring you to be their assistant and sometimes that just happens. Um, unfortunately, it's been my only experience so far with struggling to start my VA business. Um, so I'm hoping that uh, I will find somebody who is professional very soon um, because it is right now my only option for income or career. I have no other options right now. Um, and I've been struggling very, very hard for the last almost seven years now, guys, almost seven years of being unemployed and working my tail feathers off to get this business of mine off the ground and be able to get it up and running and be able to have reliable income and all of that because it is my only option um, for a career right now or any job. Um, and that's really hard. Um, a lot of people um, have, you know, more of a, uh, more of an easier time with this than I have had because either they have a degree, um, lots of, you know, in office experience, lots of working in real world experience. Um, and they have a lot of, you know, contacts and, you know, people that they can, you know, approach a lot of maybe, the, you know, they have friends who are business owners. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had of that. I haven't had any of that. Um, I've started from nothing. You know, I don't have a college degree. I have never had a legitimate job in my life. I don't have any referrals, contacts. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm just starting this completely from nothing, just my own experience of knowing um, all the skills that I have, knowing how to work programs and how to design and create and contact and do marketing and sales and um, you know, my social media and my writing. All of that has come from the last seven years of me working on my own, on my home computer, just learning and trying, you know, lots of trial and error and learning on my own and taking some online classes um, that unfortunately didn't work out. But I've gained, I've gained a lot of experience and skills through all these years of, you know, trying and learning and experimenting um, and, you know, kind of learning from others. Um, and I feel that I can, I am just as qualified as a professional with all of the experience and skills that I do have. Um, and recently, well, as of actually this morning, I lost a potential client um, because they decided that they wanted to go with a professional because she is a published author. And even though I proved to her over the last week that I was just as qualified as a professional and she loved my work and praised my work, um, but at the end of the day, she decided she wanted somebody that wasn't a nobody working for her. And it was a big blow. And yeah, I'm pretty devastated. Um, but I'm doing my best to keep my hopes up and better luck next time, right? Um, so sometimes, you know, it's not easy not having experience or a degree or a bunch of referrals I can give to somebody or, you know, it's just really hard to be kind of what they call an up and coming uh, business owner kind of thing. Um, but those are some of the realities, you know, when you, if you are a VA or if you're thinking about wanting to start a virtual assistant business as like a side job or potentially turn into your full-time career, please don't put all of your eggs in one basket if possible. If you're in the situation where you have a part-time job or you have another way of making money on the side to keep you afloat, 
Um, yeah, keep doing that and wait to see how being a VA is going to work out for you um, because it is not a reliable job. It's not a reliable, stable career where you will constantly make the same amount of money every month or even any money every month. Um, you know, for me, because I'm a single parent, I don't have any income. I don't have any way, you know, to go out and get a job. I don't have any other options available to me. So it's extremely stressful and difficult, but it's what I want to do. It's what I have to do. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm keeping at it. So hang on. I can't help all funky. Anyway, and so, you know, it's just how things are. It's how things go. Gee, my phone is making a lot of noise. Sorry. Um, but basically, that's really all I wanted to say it was just if you are a VA or wanting to become a VA, um, please keep these things in mind. Do your homework. Um, network with other VAs. Um, join a lot of VA groups like on LinkedIn or Facebook. Um, and um, take this as a learning experience from Zirtual as even if you do get employed by a company, things happen. And you know, just keep that in mind, you know, that it's, it's not an easy career choice. It's not an easy life. You know, there's a lot of reality that happens. And I mean, it's a fabulous job and it's amazing. And almost anybody really could actually do it. But there's just a lot of things to think about and a lot of things that you have to um, just kind of really assess before you jump in with both feet. Um, and I don't re recommend jumping in with both feet. Maybe keep one foot in and the other foot out. Like, you know, do the hokey pokey and turn yourself about or turn yourself around because that's what it's all about. Had to throw that in there. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I hope that you've learned something from my little video and um, I will be doing some fun videos coming up um, probably this week. So um, stay tuned for all of that. Um, and please, please subscribe to me. I really, really need you. Be interactive, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Um, thumbs up my video if you liked it, if you learned anything. Um, please subscribe and stay tuned for some fun stuff coming up um, probably in a day or two or a few days or whenever I can find some t extra time. So thank you guys for listening and I love you all and um, I hope that your business adventures meet much success. Bye.